Well, hello, pray and share warriors. I just got through listening to Our God is Greater by Chris Tomlin. That's why I was clapping. It was like the last few beats of the song. I tried to sing this song last week at youth, and I don't know, the computer that I had or make, oops, <laughs> maybe I didn't have enough uh, data on my plan or something. I don't know. It wasn't working too great. Anyway, maybe this week. All right. Well, tonight, that is not what I want to talk to you about. Today, my words were loud and proud. And what do you think that means? Um, I know what God says about pride, but I don't think it was meant like that. I mean, I think it was meant like not being ashamed and being proud of who we are as uh, Christians and being loud, you know, not uh, stifling our message, but making our message clear and making it loud and making it heard. Um, I don't mean prideful I'm all that because I'm not. I know that, but I mean proud proud to be a child of God, um, happy to be, content to be. I looked up some um, synonyms to proud, Just happy, content, um, I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> so let's jump into some prayer because I forgot. All right, God, we just come to you, and we are proud to be your children, God. We're not prideful in that we think that we are all that, but we are proud because of uh, who you've called us to be. We are proud because um, you sent Jesus to die for us, and we accepted uh, your invitation through salvation in him. Otherwise, we would not be your child. God, we just praise you because you are on your throne and you are um, in control, God. And we just praise you because you are the great I am. You are the great Jehovah. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You are our everlasting Father. You are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. You are our shelter in the storm. <clears throat> Excuse me. And God, you are the righteous judge. There is nothing that you don't see. There is nothing that is hidden from you. You will judge all unrighteousness. God, but you are kind and you are compassionate and you are loving and you are forgiving. And you are faithful, God. You keep all your promises. All your prophecies will be fulfilled. Thank you for loving us and calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray. We pray for the lost. We pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We pray for all the disasters, all the shootings, all the volcanoes, like China has this dust storm that settled over Beijing. We pray for that. We pray that you would be with these people, that you would protect people from the volcanoes, the earthquakes, all the many things that they're going through, God, there are so many things going on at one time. We just pray that you would, these people <coughs> would be drawn to you during their time of need. And that you would meet their needs, God. That you would meet them where they are. God, we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and for all that you do. God, we just... Uh, we just pray for people that have lost loved ones. I know of several families, God. I just pray that you would be with them and give them peace, comfort, and strength. And one of our dear church members, God, is oh, so sick. 
We pray that you would heal his body. If that's not your plan, we pray that you would give him peace as he crosses over to you, God. God, we just, just more and more people that we know are going to be with you. God, please give their families peace, comfort, and strength and let them feel your presence. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I'm listening to a really good song. Talking to Jesus. Such a good song by Brandon Lake. And oh, uh, another guy. I think it's at Elevation Worship. Yeah, Elevation Worship and Maverick Music, too. Okay. Well, let's get into the lesson, okay? All right, let me read what I put on Facebook today. And you're welcome uh, when you see my little advertisement or whatever to go in and read what I put and to listen to the song that goes with it. Today, um, I felt like hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah. Went with the lesson because it says sing a little louder. Uh, I wore my outcry tour and the saying for that was louder together so I think that as a unified group we need to proclaim the gospel louder than what we have in the past we need to get um, very intentional about it okay so this is what I wrote be loud and proud the words for today so I found this song and message that has been my battle cry so many times the last two years. I love the lyrics of this message. I do believe that we can praise and worship in the middle of the storm because I have done it. Praise and worship has so, has so much helped me to get through these many seasons of my life. I believe as Christians it is time for us to be loud and proud as children of God. We can be loud and proud because heaven will come and fight for us. Death is defeated and our King Jesus is alive forever. We can raise a hallelujah at any time. We are free through Jesus. We are powerful through Jesus. We are saved, sanctified, and sealed through Jesus. We are on the side of victory. We can be loud and proud of our Christianity and our calling by God. He calls us to share his truths in the gospel of Jesus every day without fail. Are you saved today? Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Return if you have strayed away. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay, so that that's kind of how I started this morning. Being loud, being intentional, being not obnoxious. I don't mean going out in the streets and proclaiming this. I mean, with every opportunity, sharing God's truth, with everything that you put on Facebook, putting something good and positive about God, about Jesus, about Christianity. Not a bunch of negative stuff. Just good stuff. I'm talking to myself because I put a bunch of negative stuff on YouTube because I get so angry at some of the things that I see on YouTube. And I'm not even angry at who is bringing the news. I'm angry about who it is that they're bringing the news about because <laughs> I just a lot of this that's going on right now I just don't get okay what a friend we have in Jesus that's a great message to proclaim right there what a friend we have in Jesus all right, so loud, what I found under loud for uh, 
in King James was Psalm 33.3. There's really not a whole lot about loud and proud. Now, there is a lot that God says about pride, which is different than what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being, being unashamed of the gospel, being proud to be a, a follower of Christ, being proud to be counted in the in the 99 <laughs> to be counted as saved to be counted in the kingdom that proud not that we are any better than anybody else we just happen to be saved we just happen to have uh, been offered redemption Ooh, I have my redeemed bracelet on I have my redeemed bracelet on uh, we just happen to have been accepted redemption and asked for forgiveness and it's still a journey it is not a done deal the day you get saved is not a done deal it's a journey okay so let's read Psalm 33 3 which says sing unto him a new song play skillfully with a loud noise for the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. So God breathed into existence. I'm going to go back and start at the top of 33, because I love Psalm. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp, and sing unto him with psaltery, and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. So it's time to be loud. It's time to proclaim that God is the one true God, that God is the one that loves us, loves us so much, that God is truth, that His Word is truth, and that He sent His Son to die for everyone, like everyone. You think of the very worst person on this earth. Jesus died for them too. Jesus died for us all. Got my water. And my best mom ever cup. Okay, I don't want to dump it on the keyboard. Anyway. I guess I could have grabbed it with my other hand. Then you could have seen it better. I might. Okay, so that is what Psalm 33 says. Let's look at Psalm 98. Psalm 98.4 says this. I think I'm just going to read all of it because... It only has nine verses. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heaven, the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the earth, make a loud noise. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing and praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm, with trumpets and sound of correct cornet, Make a joyful noise before the Lord the King. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof, the world that they and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands. 
Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for he cometh to judge the earth with righteousness, shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Ooh, equity. That word equity, we hear that a lot from the government. Equity means everybody gets the same. So everybody will get the same judgment. All the unrighteous will get the same. That, that will be equity. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, Psalms 155. You have to remember, too, that the unrighteous has the same uh, invitation that we have or that we had before we got saved. And that was that we could repent and we could uh, accept Jesus as our Savior and we could be saved. They have the same thing. They can repent. They can turn away, turn to Jesus in some cases turn back because they walked away from their relationship okay praise ye the Lord praise God in his sanctuary now this is Psalms 155 but I'm I'm reading all of 150 because it is uh, it's the last psalm in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness praise him with the sound of the trumpet praise him with the psaltery and harp praise him with a timbrel and dance praise him with stringed instruments and organs praise him upon the loud cymbals praise him upon the high sounding symbols let everything that has breath hath breath praise the lord praise ye the lord well let's make it loud because we are proud we are not full of pride we are proud of um, who god has called us to be we are not perfect but we are proud to be part of the kingdom and we need to not hide that. We need to not be ashamed. Okay, so let's go to Second Chronicles 15, 14. Let's see what that says. I really like this video. It's we believe, but it's um, Jesus and his apostles after he is resurrected it's really good okay where am i going 15 14 second chronicles 15 14 says and they swear unto the lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets and all judah rejoiced at the oath for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire and he was found of them and the Lord gave them rest round about well that's one of the many times that God reconciled these people to him but they swore to God with a loud voice we need to be loud we need to be loud we need to be proud of who God made us that we are part of this kingdom and that we will see we'll see the destruction of this world if not here from above okay so let's move on to proud and I don't have very many for proud but I did find a couple of three um Psalms Psalms 31 23 says this I love the Lord all ye saints for the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentiful and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer so if we're doing God's work, 
and we are proud about what we are doing not prideful because we are but just proud of what he has called us to do and we are joyful about it and we don't do it grumbling then um, you know the Lord will plentifully reward us be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart all ye that hope in the Lord so our hope is in the Lord and we do need to be of good courage we don't know what's going to happen uh, there's a lot going on a lot going on and so it's just a job to decipher to have the Holy Spirit discern for you what is truth and what is lies so that's quite an, an ordeal in itself So in Romans 1.16, wow, I like that song so well. Uh, Romans 1.16. I wanted to do that one last. I'm going to do that one last. I'm going to do Hebrews 13.5 first. Okay, this is about being content. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. Well, my problem with the people that are ruling over us right now is they are not speaking the Word of God. They have removed God from their platform. So, I do have a problem with that. Because our rulers right now are following deception and evil. I know both sides both sides okay so let's read Romans 1 16 which is one of my favorite verses I'm listening to the goodness of God I love this song Okay, so Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. So if people are not following God, God's wrath is coming. Please repent. Please get right with God. And all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it to them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead, so that they are without excuse. 
So they are without excuse. Everybody needs to get back to a relationship with God. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Pro professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, into birds and four-feeted beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Okay, I wasn't planning on reading this, but I, I feel like I need to. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. I believe we're seeing every bit of this right now. I believe that God has turned these people over to their lusts for now. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their own lust, in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness fornication, wickedness, covetousness, mal maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, there's that word proud, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, convenient breakers, without natural affection, Im implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So that's just a description of what we see. What we see right now. We see every bit of this right now, which is clearly against God's word. And it wasn't changed in 1960. I have older Bibles that have exactly the same thing. I have, I have checked that. So I have debunked that, that the Bible was changed in 1960, because it wasn't. Um, God does not change. If sin was sin 2,000 years ago, it is sin today. That is God's truth. That's God's truth. And it's, it's a sad truth for a lot of people. They're going to miss heaven because they think in their mind they're saved, but they're not in their heart because they're not following God. They haven't repented of their sins. They're living in their sins. You cannot be with God if you're with sin. You have to choose. You have to choose either sin or God. And sin is um, bondage. It is bondage to the deceiver. The deceiver of old. The, deceive, the deceiver in the Old Testament is the same deceiver now. The same one that uh, tempted Jesus. He's the same. He is the same. Okay, so let's be loud and let's be proud of our Christianity, not having pride like we are all that, because God does not like that. But God does want us to be proud of our heritage, our inheritance. 
the fact that Jesus is our Savior and he wants us to share to share with others to share the good news because this is good news it's the best news ever is that Jesus can save us Jesus can deliver us Jesus is going to come and deliver us out of this world he's not going to step foot here so if they say oh hey Jesus is here the Messiah is here that's not true that's in Matthew 24. Jesus himself said that is not true. Jesus is going to come back in the clouds like he left. And it's going to be so fast. We're going to go so fast. So, so fast in the twinkling of an eye. So let's offer some salvation. Let's find, I'm so glad I found this. I'm going to get on Amazon or Christian Book Distributors and see if I can find some more. Just different ways to share the gospel. Okay. How about this? How about an invitation into heaven? It's not as snazzy as the ticket to heaven, but it's an invitation. Would you like to accept this invitation? Have you ever been invited into heaven? You know, there's many people that have not been invited into heaven. That people, people look at them as if they're not worthy to be God's child. But that's not our decision. Our, our, our job is to share. Share God's truths and share the gospel with others. So... Let's read this. God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. Oh, my cat. My cat was sleeping in the other chair. She's moved on out. I don't know where she went. Okay, here's some scriptures that go with salvation. I am listening to Run to the Father right now. Such a good song. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 For God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14.6 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. So this is a salvation prayer. It's not the prayer that saves you. It's the belief in Jesus and who he is. And uh, who God is. So I'm going to leave spaces so you can repeat after me if you would like. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus is your one and only Son. I 
I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So if you said that prayer, if you accepted Jesus as your Savior, and welcome to the kingdom family of God. The uh, angels are rejoicing, and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So you are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, His Son. Today is day one of your Christianity journey. So if you want to learn more about Jesus, then read the Bible every day. Re start in Matthew. Read the New Testament first and then go to the Old Testament. Um, pray. Pray every day. Prayer is so important. Prayer is our communication to God. Pray every day, and like I'm doing tonight, listen to praise and worship music. Um, there are so many kinds. There are so many kinds. If you like rock, there are rock bands. If you like contemporary, there's, there's contemporary. If you like praise and worship like I do, there's praise and worship. If you like um, gospel, there's gospel. There are all kinds. There's rap, too. And I've even gotten to where I can understand what a lot of them are saying, which makes me feel a lot better. All right. Well, I think I did everything that I came to do tonight. Be sure and be loud and be proud to be a child of God. Be proud that you accepted Jesus as your Savior. Be proud that you have the opportunity to share God's Word and the Gospel with others. That we have that privilege right now. I'm going to take advantage of it as long as I have it. I'm going to continue to do it. Okay, well let's... I forgot to read what God and I talked about. I was looking at the time going, wow, this sure is not going very quickly, but I forgot. I forgot. So, good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, child. New opportunities to share my truths, to declare my goodness, and to share and share the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child, to see my creation. Thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths, declare your goodness, and share the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a new beautiful day. Please help me with this. Please help with this. I got some news this morning. Um, thank you for all of my blessings. It is raining on our family, God. Please help us. All in all, the different storms that seem to be taking place. I still feel peace, though. And I know I can raise a hallelujah in the midst of every storm. 
And he said, Child, do you feel peace because your trust is fully in me? I have weathered storms with you, and you know that you can trust me. What about the people in the midst of storms that do not even know me or believe in me that I can and will um, carry them through? These are the ones that need Jesus as their Savior. And I said, sorry, God, I don't want to be distracted. I will be still and listen. The people that need Jesus are the ones that have incurred much hurt by betrayal and abuse, child. There are so many out there. As you saw in the documentary, I watched a documentary yesterday about human trafficking. And I know what he's talking about. There is so much hurt and deception from evil, child. My children need to get loud about their salvation and proud of the decision that they have made. My children must stand up strong for truth and not back down either. Please keep sharing my truths in the gospel of Jesus, child. Be loud and proud with your message also, child. I know you see all going on right now that lines up with my word, and you see and hear it too. The loud few that you see are being fueled by money of the evil. They are being paid to be a nuisance to humanity, and they will be the first to go because they have been trained to not respect authority. They are being used as an example. They're being used and an example will be made of them to silence all of the people against evil. Evil has no loyalty to their followers. No loyalty at all. They are users and abusers of all their followers. When they are done using, they destroy them with no love or compassion. Sadly, many of their followers will find out their leader is opposite of the Good Shepherd Jesus. He is evil to the core of his existence. He always has been and will ultimately be destroyed for leading humanity astray. And I said, thank you, God, for meeting me today. I see all that you say in your word. The end of evil will be great. I see it unfolding before my eyes, too. Thank you for protecting your children and helping us see truth over all the lies that are out there. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, God. Give my mama and daddy a hug. I love you, too, my child. Now go do all I ask today. I will order your steps as you go. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready and be loud and proud about the choice that you made. Walk in truth and light with Jesus. Stay close, child. The reunion will be so spectacular. I want to see all of my children home and safe, especially my innocent ones. And I said, Maranatha, God, because I'm ready. I'm ready for Jesus to come get us. Because this place is getting crazier every day. But until he does, we have a job. We have a job to be loud and proud of who we are through Jesus. Not who we are, prideful who we are, but through Jesus, who we are, who God has created us to be. We need to be loud and proud. proclaiming the gospel and sharing God's word. Okay, well now I've done everything that I came to do. So I'm going to, I wish I had this memorized, but I do not. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. Maybe I do. And be gracious unto thee, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. Well, I have nearly it memorized. Number 6, 24 through 26. Well, that's Im that impresses me.
I didn't know I had that much memorized. Okay, well, it's a, it's a God thing. Okay, well, let's pray. Um, my friend Josie didn't show up. She must be busy. And uh, I'm going to get off of here so I can go feed my son because I didn't feed him beforehand like I sometimes do. My cat wants her chair. She's ready for her nappy chair back. I guess I'm gonna have to buy her a chair to put by mine and she can be my co-host. She can, she'll just take a nap is what she'll do. All right, well, um, let's pray. God, we just pray. We just pray for, pray for anyone that watches this, God. That if there's any need that they have that needs to be met, please meet their needs, God. Please protect them, provide them for them. Bless them, God. We just pray for the lost, God. We pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus. So they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home. We pray for the evil to feel conviction, God. We pray for them to see where they are and for them to repent of their sins and to turn to you, God. God, we pray for all truth to rise above all the lies that we hear every day. We just pray for truth. We pray that you would help us to walk in the truth and walk in the light. That you would keep us close to Jesus. We pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength, God. I pray for my friend Josie. Just pray, God, that you would be with her. That you would give her the strength that she needs to work. That you would be with her entire family, God. That you would give them peace. That you would give them protection. That you would give them provision. And that you would bless them, God. That you would help them to be obedient to you, God. We pray for Mr. Mike and all the boys, God. We pray for the same for him. Protection, provision, peace, um, blessings. We just pray that they would feel your closeness, God. We just pray, God, for... Um, I have a few unspoken requests, God. I just lift them up to you. We just pray that uh, your will would be done in these and that truth, truth would be paramount and that um, hearts would be changed by this experience. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, my friends. Have an awesome rest of your night. And an awesome tomorrow. And much love. And cyber hugs. Till tomorrow. Good night.